Okay, I did go ahead and put a lid on this to kind of make sure it was cooked in the middle a little bit more. Oh, look at that. I think that's a nice coloring to it. Look at that. Well, hi, I'm Amy Roloff. Well, Amy, and I'm in my little kitchen. Anyway, you know what? This is really, this is pretty much a simple meal. There is definitely some prep that needs to happen. Uh, but anyway, it's kind of summer, it's warm out. Next week, it's gonna be kind of cooler and rainy. So, um, oh, let me get the microwave. But it keeps beeping. There we go. I had to soften up the butter a little bit. Anyway, um, it's summertime or it's late spring. It's gonna be summertime. Uh, here in Oregon, we're in the daylight saving time and all of that. Anyway, um, I'm making New York uh, strip steak. It's Friday. You know, why not have a little drink? And um, I don't know, just kind of celebrate the weekend really. So steak to me is very simple, unless you really want to uh, cover it with, you know, stuff, depending on the steak you have. Basically, it's just salt and pepper or a little bit of other spices that you may want to add to it to give it a little heat, a little fire to it. I'm probably just going to do salt and pepper on this. Chris really likes a basic steak. Steak. I might add a little bit more to mine. And then uh, I took two russic potatoes and I'm going to make twice baked stuffed potatoes. Okay, while the potatoes are still cooking, I'm getting ready to prep the steaks. I couldn't resist, so I'm probably going to add a little bit of garlic powder along with a little bit of salt and pepper on this just to kind of really flavor the meat. Uh, let me get it. Oh, here's a fork. Um, oh, yeah. So what I think is really good after you sear your meat and you cook your steaks, uh, especially for a New York, um, New York strip steak or maybe even a boneless ribeye or definitely filet mignon, uh, if you grill it out on your grill or even on the stove, I think it's always nice to top it off with like a little flavored butter. Sometimes I use rosemary, but Chris really likes blue cheese and I had some here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take softened butter here. Kind of mash that up. It's really soft now because it's kind of warm here. I'm going to take some crumbled blue cheese. Kind of mash that in with the butter. And yes, I did use salted butter. And the one thing about this is that the blue cheese is cold and so it has kind of helped the butter not be as soft. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little more blue cheese. So basically, I don't know, blue, blue cheese butter? I'm sure there's a term for this that just totally escapes my brain. There we go. So when the meat is all done, I will just put a little scoop, a little, a little like a teaspoon scoop on it, and that'll really help flavor up the, the meat, and it's just a nice touch. And it goes good with beef. Okay. There we go. Just gonna salt and pepper. Get this going at least. Oh, you know what I may do? Instead of putting garlic on this, I might put garlic in the butter. That might be kind of good. Well, I'll just sprinkle a dab. Just a dab, you don't want a lot. 
that's enough. And I did put a, I did go ahead and put a little bit in the butter. So I'm just gonna flip these over and I'm just gonna make sure they're well seasoned once I put it in the pan as well. And I usually, I mean, everyone's different, but I usually like my meat medium rare. I don't like a lot of this red red, but I definitely like it that good pink color. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I think this is gonna be a great barbecue dinner or a few friends over, or even for your family. So we're gonna continue to wait till the potatoes are done because this will only take about 10 minutes and I think the potatoes may only have 10 minutes. So let's go over to the stove and start cooking this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. I've heated up this pan. Sorry if you don't hear me because I gotta turn on the fan. But we, and I have this pretty much on the highest heat because I really want a good sear. But if I didn't have all of this other stuff to do, I probably should have cooked it on the grill, but we're gonna do it this way. So I think on each side, probably at least five minutes. On a grill, that could vary, but these are pretty thick cuts, so I'm gonna say probably at least five minutes on each side, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, the steaks are sizzling. I think they're definitely time to flip them over. Oh yeah, look at that. We're gonna cook this for another five minutes. Then I think my potatoes will be done, the salad's done, and hopefully this is a good meal. I'm gonna bring you over to see. It's really good here. I think it's great. It's got it like a nice crust on it. Let me bring you up higher. Anyway, about another five minutes. We'll be ready to go. Okay, I did go ahead and put a lid on this to kind of make sure it was cooked in the middle a little bit more. But look at that. I think that's a nice coloring to it. Look at that. Get some of these pan juices on it, even though I'm going to put a little bit of the butter. And I'm going to take these on over to um, the counter. We'll dish up. Of course, I am going to dish up Chris's plate first. I highly doubt I'm going to eat all of this meat, but it'll be good for our, and then just a little dab of blue cheese butter. I'm gonna have this help me here. This, oh my goodness, lusciousness. <gasps> Twice baked potato. And then we also have a green salad. So, I think this is a great summer meal, springtime, late spring, into summer, I don't know what, but look at this, just lusciousness. So, this recipe and all the other recipes are over at, on my YouTube channel, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen, or you can go to amyroloffslittlekitchen.com, but check it out on my YouTube channel. So, thanks!